What is going on guys? My name is Lotus. I'm a Master Rank Cami player. I've been playing this character for about the last 15 years. Um, and I'm very passionate about the game, the character, and I just wanted to share what I know with you guys. Maybe you're a beginner trying to pick her up and learn. Maybe you're around gold, platinum, and you want to get to master. Hopefully something in this video will help you. I'm going to try to keep it short, to the point, uh, but helpful. I'm not so much going to go over like system mechanics in this game, so if you're brand new to Street Fighter 6, maybe look up a couple videos about that so you understand the notations I'm using, like 2M or Drive Impact, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into this, guys. I'm going to talk about her normals first, and we'll just start with our lights. Both of her jabs are very much interchangeable. They're both four frame startup. They both have almost the exact same range. Um, very interchangeable. Not too much to say about them. So, pretty much just use for your light confirms. Not too much else. They're four frames, so that's where you would punish something that's negative four if they're right next to you. Or if you're trying to contest after they're negative, this is probably going to be what you're pressing. Um, her next normal, 5L, is amazing. This button is so good. Um, it has further reach than jabs. Like, look at the This is a light, and it reaches this far. It's super good for whiff punishing. It's just Someone's just throwing out buttons like this. Um, it's a very, very good button to whiff punish with. And then you can convert that into, like, a full combo. Super good button. Um, very low risk. High, high reward, low risk, super good button. Uh, definitely recommend getting good with this button. You just want to kind of throw it out. There's no risk involved to this. And then that's about it. It's also, sometimes when you're far away, a third jab won't reach, but this will. So I'd advise ending most of your light strings with this button because it's going to reach. Um, 2L, not much to say about this. 2L, 2 light kick. Um, it's 5 frames, it hits low. Nothing really to say about it. You'll use it in a block string when you want someone to block low. Uh, not a super important button to be worried about, but important nonetheless. Uh, so going on to our mediums, we'll start with 5M. 5 medium punch. It's got good range. It's not special cancelable, but you can usually get light kick after it. Uh, it's good. It's a good button. Um, and it also does have a strange property to where you can get spacing trap off of it. It is negative on block. Um, but you can do something like... That's not what I wanted to do. Um, uh, here we go. You can get something like this. Where, if they're mashing after every button you press. Like, let's say you do this and they're just, they're just mashing after every button and, you're, and you hate it. You can space this. And this is what's known as a spacing trap. It's not a real frame trap, but this is going to beat that jab mash because their jabs doesn't reach you, but you reach them. Um, so you can get stuff like that and you can get that into a full combo. Um, so yeah, it's got its uses. It reaches pretty far. On counter hit, you can link into heavy punch, you can link into crouch strong, you can link into low forward. Um, a good button. It's also only six frames, which is faster than a lot of your other buttons that you might want to punish with. So sometimes someone's negative six and they're out of range of you know jab. You can, well actually, actually I think this has the same range as jab. Um, but nonetheless, there will be times when someone's right next to you and they're not negative enough for you to be able to get this um, or another big button and you would maybe start with this. And you could obviously always drive rush it to get more damage. Not a bad button. Um, five medium, two medium punch. Very good button. It's kind of similar to this to where you just, you can just sit here. And you can see I'm buffering this into spiral arrow. Very low risk, um, very high reward because you get a knockdown. So let's say someone's just pressing big buttons uh, someone's just, you know, just poking with all these big buttons. This button is really good at stuffing this stuff. It's 
a very good counter poke. You don't even have to think about it. Like, I'm just gonna... I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just spamming it. It's very good. Sometimes it stuffs stuff on startup. Other times it'll whiff punish. It's a really good button. Um, definitely one of your better buttons to use in, like, a whiff punishing sense. It's a bit faster than low forward. It's one frame faster, but also has less recovery, so it's harder to punish. Um, so definitely a good button. Stand Fierce, or 5 Heavy Punch, moves you forward and has quite a lot of range. This is another good whip punish button, albeit a little slower. Um, but if you're playing against like a Gi for a Marisa that's just throwing out big buttons, this Sorry about that guys, my mic. Um, this is a really good button to whip punish as, as well. And if you get a punish counter with it, you get big damage. 25% of someone's life. Or, you know, you can extend it for more. Um, but definitely a good button. Um, it links special cancelable. On counter hit, you know, you can pretty much go into anything. Actually, it's only plus six, so you could go into target combo if you're close enough. It's kind of hard, though. Um, but I mostly use this as like a whiff punish for really big buttons. And obviously, from Crouch Heavy Punch, it links. That's your main punish counter link. So, next button. Two Heavy Punch. It's, uh, it's very, very niche as an anti-air. It's good against, like, Honda's headbutt sometimes. Or, I'm sorry, his butt slam. Um, and it can be an okay anti-air at times. I wouldn't recommend it, though. I would just do this. Uh, or even this, or this, air grab. Um, but, this is your plus on block button. Stop jabbing me. This is your plus on block button. Plus one. So once you get someone to respect this, you can start doing stuff like, you're shimmying, baiting a throw, you're throwing because you're plus and they're blocking. You go up, fake a throw and do another one like that. It's your plus on block button. It's your main meaty main combo starter um, it links into crouch medium punch without punish counter and then with counter it goes into stand heavy punch um, not too much more to say about this it's your plus on block button meaty with it um, if you're having trouble with Honda's butt slam sometimes this is good against it you can cancel into it into drill um, but not too much else to say about that um, stand medium kick very good poke has a lot of range, it's fairly low committal, it's only negative four, no jab in the game is reaching this to punish. Um, you have to be careful you're being fairly obvious with it, just throwing it out over and over. You could get punished by someone doing this, drive impact, um, but fairly safe low committal poke to keep someone at bay and keep your space. Uh, two medium kick, amazing butt. Something that makes characters in this game good. Um, is having a cancelable, long-reaching medium kick. So I, I could be all the way out here, right? And you could convert this. Well, you could. So you could get this much damage off of a low forward. Um, it reaches a far way. That's half of someone's life. I wouldn't use it as a whiff punish as much as this and this, but it can be good. Um, like if someone's throwing out hitboxes that are low to the ground, this can catch it. Um, but in general, I would say these three buttons are better whiff punishes. Crouch strong, stand light kick, stand heavy punch. Um, but what makes this good, it's cancelable, so you can sit there and buff it into spiral arrow like that. And if it hits, your spiral arrow comes out. It's also got pretty good range. Um, and obviously you can dry rush and get big combos. So definitely a good button. Um, stand heavy kick. This is definitely Cammy's far... This is Cammy's farthest... I'm so sorry about my mic. Farthest reaching normal. Um, it has the range of being over from the next room. Someone, my roommate could be over in the next room and hit me with this. Um, very good. Again, it's susceptible to drive impact if you're being obvious with it. Um, but it's, it's really good. You know, you 
get a punish counter with it, you get all the time in the world to dash up. Definitely a good poke. I'd say these are Kami's two best pokes as far as how far they reach. Definitely use this button. It can also be really niche as an anti-air if they're really far away. It's not bad. Like, even if they're jumping at you, um, it can be okay. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it. You have to be really far away. See, it can be okay, but you're risking when you could just do this. But obviously it's easier to just do this sometimes. So, it's okay. Um, speaking of anti-airs, we'll go on to... We'll come back to sweep. Another anti-air is your back medium punch. It's not as good as it used to be in Street Fighter V, but it's still good. It's got a decent vertical hitbox on it. Um, it also goes into your target combo. You get decent damage off that. Uh, you know, you hit a cross up. That's usually your main combo route. Jab into target combo. Give you decent damage, and you get pokey off of it. Um, not too much else to say about that button. Anti-air and target combo. I guess one more thing that's notable about it is it's a 5 frame startup. So it can punish sometimes when you can't get something else, like one of your bigger slower buttons. Um, if they're right next to you, this can be a good punish. It does lead into level 3. You can get level 2. You can get any of your supers off that. Um, so a good button. Just not, don't depend on this to anti or everything. I highly advise you getting good at DPing and also air grabbing, or even air to airing. Um, but these other buttons do have niches as anti airs, these three. Um, and then sweep. Sweep is a lot better than it used to be. Its range is deceptive. Like it, it reaches further than you would think. It's like right here. Um, and it also moves you forward. So it's another really easy whiff punish button. I see Punk and some other camis use it a lot. Um, like if someone's just throwing out buttons, being reckless, very easy to whiff punish with this. And look how far that reaches. Like You have all the time in the world to do that. It's a good whiff punish, and it's a... They can't back roll, so you get guaranteed Oki. It's a hard knockdown dash up. And so sweep is good. Um, definitely a decent whip punish. Unsafe on block, so I wouldn't spam it too much. Um, is that all of our normals? Let's see. For these. Uh, one more normal I guess I'll talk about. There's not much to say about it. It's forward heavy kick. It's a new, new move can be got in this game. Pretty much just very niche combo filler. You'll almost never use this. Um, there will be a time maybe where you can do something like, you know, in the corner, you get double back heavy kick, right? Um, and there will be times where they're not quite in the corner yet, so you can't get both back heavy kicks, and you can change the last one to that move to get them in the corner and finish the combo. Um, but like I said, outside of some really niche combo stuff, you can pretty much just forget you have this button. It's not important. That's all our normals. So we're gonna move on to specials. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with what I would consider Cammy's most special normal. Special special, I mean. Which is the good old classic dive kick. This move is incredible. Uh, the hurt box is a little lower than it used to be, so it trades a lot more with normals than it used to. But it's very good. You can do it early, like right here, to get in, kind of skip neutral. Maybe they're throwing out buttons, boom, you're in. For free. And you can get whatever you want off of it. Um, you got to learn the spacing of each one, because if you hit way up, you know, in their chest, it's negative. It's even punishable sometimes. Like this, negative five. That's punishable. Negative four. But if you space it, plus three. Basically, you want to hit them and lower the and low as you can, like their feet, their shins, um, and all of them have different travel distance. So you have to practice all of them. Definitely something 
you need to practice is spacing dive kicks. Because you want this to be plus and it's your turn. Um, very good. Like I said, you can do it early to get in. You can also do do it late to bait normal anti-airs like this. Actually, that may have been too early, too late. And like the peak of the jump, you would do this. To, if you're trying to bait uh, a normal anti-air, so let's say I'm going to anti-air this. Oh, I got I got hit because she changed her jump time with the dive kick. So it's a really good tool. Cammy's air game is really strong because of this. She can change her jump timings. Um, obviously, you can just DP it, but a lot of the time people rely on these normal anti airs, and this will stuff it almost every time. So, extremely, extremely good special. Practice spacing with it. Um, practice doing early ones to get in like that. Just to kind of, oh, you're playing neutral. Oh, now you're in. Uh, late ones to beat that. EX or OD. I don't use it a lot. It has the same trajectory as heavy. I don't see much of a use for it, except for uh, in the juggle combo. It will juggle, whereas a normal heavy heavy kick, dive kick knocks down. This will allow you to get a little bit more damage. You could even super there. So outside of combos, I don't use the X dive kick a lot. Uh, next, let's talk about Spiral Arrow. Not a lot to say about this. Um, it's your main combo ender. Unless you're in the corner. If you're in the corner, you would actually end with DP. Because it does more damage. But everywhere else, this is your main combo ender from all your combos. Um, medium and heavy attacks, you can link into the heavy Spiral Arrow. If you're doing lights, the heavy is going to be too slow. You're going to want to do medium. Um... Not too much else to say about this. You can make it safe if you space it. That's negative one. That's zero. I think zero is about the best you can get without burnout. So you can kind of use this to get in. And a lot of the time, people will press a button after they block this, and you can just be really cheesy and gimmicky and do a DP. And this catches a lot of people, even in Master Rank. Definitely don't rely on it, because you're risking a lot for not much. Um, but you can space this to be safe. Sometimes if people are walking forward, it'll catch them and you'll get a knockdown. Don't overuse it, um, but it's a tool you have and it's your main combo ender. So going on to DP, not too much to say about this. It's your main combo ender uh, in the corner because it does a little more damage. Uh, the trajectory of each one is different. They each go a little further. Um, I would probably recommend anti-airing with light or medium. Because heavy has a tendency to go under people if they're really high and you did it early like this oh. Let me get over here. this is my better side it's my good side but yeah it can whiff if they're really high and you do it early whereas if you do the low it's never gonna whiff um, I mean if you just wait heavy will work and you'll get a little more damage you get more damage if you hit at the start of the move, see, this is 960 damage, that's 1440, that's pretty considerable. Um, but yeah, this is mostly just your anti-air, um, not too much to say about it. Oh, and I missed OD Spiral Arrow, I almost never use this, almost never. Um, it can be good if you want to go into a raw level 2 or something, you can do like, like a missile kill, this will go into level 2. Or it allows you to get a juggle after but that's usually not an optimal use of meter and I wouldn't use this often unless you're gonna kill off of it um, and then so OD cannon spike does more damage so if you're not gonna kill you can always do heavy DP for a little more damage that's pretty much the only reason you would use the OD one for more damage outside of obviously waking up reversally because this is invincible um, not too much else to say about that. Get good at anti-airing with this. This will take you far if you can do this consistently. Um, quick spin knuckle. This is probably the best anti-fireball special in the game. Let me fix my mic, guys. So sorry about that. Um, probably the best anti-fireball normal special in the game. 
Um, on punish counter, you can you can even link it to the heavy one on punish counter like this. Um, this is a lot of times people are looking at this with fireballs and they can DI it, so don't be too obvious with it. Um, it's fast enough to where you don't have to predict a fireball. You can actually react if you're fast enough outside of Gonic's, uh, Guile Sonic Boom and maybe one other or something. But you can you can just sit here and kind of buffer it. If you see a fireball, boom. Um, you can also do, if, if someone's drive impacting it a lot, you can do like the light one and then DI them back. Kind of bait the DI. Um, you can also do some kind of cheesy stuff, like instead of ending in Spiral Arrow, you could end with with Knuckle and then get a throw. A lot of time people aren't ready for that, and it's a little more damage, but it's gimmicky. I would almost always rather just take the knockdown and then get real OP. Um, but if it's gonna kill, you know, you could do you could do something cheesy like a little reset, like you know, grab them. That's almost 4,000 damage for one meter. But Mostly used as anti-fireball. Has some combo stuff. It has some stuff in burnout. I'll show y'all in a bit. And last, it may be least, this is the special move Cammy's fight over all the time. Hooligan. I guess I'll go over uh, all the stuff you can do from it, and then I'll explain why I don't really use it. So you can do the throw. They can crouch that. You can do dive kick. You can do this which is good, uh, but it's negative on block, unless it's really meaty, and you can make it meaty, like right here. That's not punishable on block. And then you can even make it plus, and it's your turn, like that was plus one. Look at 11 frame advantage. So you can make it meaty and safe, um, but just doing it from like here, if they block it, it's unsafe. It's also really slow, so like you're just gonna get DP'd. Um, you've also got the slide, but you can get that, you can get level 1, uh, you might even be able to get level 3. No, you can't get level 3. Maybe you can, but, you know, you're not really going to use it. Um, and then you've got the fast fall, which is probably the best thing you can do from it if you're going to do it from here. You can bait DP sometimes with this, like, uh, bait reversals. But... I personally don't use this move outside of this setup in the corner where you can get a meaty one or you can even like land throw. You can do some um, some gimmicky stuff with this in the corner. Land here, cross up, then take the corner back. Oh, you would take the corner back. Um, so you can do some tricky stuff. You can do like pretty much just off this. Outside of that, I don't use this move. It's too slow, it's too dangerous. Um, it's really high risk for low reward to just do from here. I would definitely say if you wanna learn to play this character solid, don't depend on this move. Don't just throw it out. Good people are gonna punish it, um, and you're not gonna get that much off of it most of the time. So I think that's all of our specials. Let me double check, because I'm not the smartest. Uh, spiral arrow, cannon spike. Okay, so that's all our specials. Uh, moving on to supers, level one. Down four, down four kick. This is a good level one. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's invincible though, so if you're in burnout, you know you can always use this to reversal. If you think someone's gonna pressure you, you can also use it to end combos. If if the normal ender wouldn't kill, this is a little bit more damage. It does a little bit more damage to DP. Um, I don't use this a whole lot, mostly just as a reversal when I'm in burnout, or if I'm gonna burn out by doing an EXDP, sometimes I'll wake up level one. Um, and then I'll end combos with it when it's gonna kill. <clears throat> Outside of that, not super important. Level two, I use even less. Um, level three is just so good, it's so good. Um, you can get into this a couple of different ways. You can do EX Spiral Arrow. target combo which is gonna make it juggle since it's in the air and you can do a follow-up um, but unless it's gonna kill again not really worth it 
Level 3 is just too strong. It's a full screen threat when Cammy doesn't really have full screen threats. Um, <clears throat> so, like, if you're going to kill off of a light cross up, you know, uh, let's say you have no drive rush meter, but you've got level 2 super, you could totally do something like that. And it'd be worth it if it's going to kill. It's always worth it to kill. Um, and then her level 3, probably the best level 3 in the game. Full screen like a missile, tons of damage, a million ways to combo into it. Fireball characters hate it. Um, you can get into it from pretty much anything. I think the best way to get into it is usually from charge DP. Um, and you can hit charge DP from stand heavy punch. So like a lot of the times people go into super like that. Uh, it's good easy damage. It goes through fireballs from almost the entire screen. If you're, if you do it too early, in your full screen, sometimes you'll just get hit by the fireball and waste your super. Um, but it goes, I mean, almost full screen, and it's a great way to close out a round, or just just punish someone throwing out bad projectiles. Not too much to say about her supers besides that. Uh, something else I want to talk about that maybe to me is the most important part of this guide. I want to talk about Cammy's game plan. And in my opinion, the mentality you should have when playing the character. Cami is not a character that in lower ranks is going to be like Honda or JP that can spam a special move and win. Maybe you did beat somebody by spamming a special move, but I promise it's not going to take you very far on this character. This character has been rushed down archetype for however long she's been out. 1993. Same year I was born. Um... Cammy wants to be right here. She's not going to get anything from being over here. Cammy wants to be in your face. She wants to knock you down, and then she wants to make you guess between, am I going to meaty? Am I going to throw? Or am I going to shimmy? And if you don't know what a shimmy is, it's where someone else throws, and then you punish their throw. Um... Or just, I mean, shimmy in general just means you're kind of just doing this and baiting them to either throw or throw out a bad normal. Kami wants to be right here. She wants to be in your face. She wants to use the momentum she gets off this knockdown to make you guess. You can do all kind of crazy stuff. Um, and I see a lot of people play this character just full screen. I'm sending it. I'm just crazy. But... My style of playing Cammy is a very uh, K-Brad, Justin Wong style of playing Cammy. I like to walk forward, block, take my space. When I get in range, start throwing my normals. Stand in this range right here, looking to whiff punish their normals. Cammy's buttons are so good, you have to use them. You've got to make use of this character's normals. Um, they're just so good. So I, I advise just kind of walk forward, take your space, poke with punish and then once you get this knockdown you don't let up you either medium you throw them you shimmy or if you think they're gonna reversal you block and then you get a full punish um, this character is super momentum heavy she gets one knockdown she can kill you like let's just say you get that one jump in boom you do this you take your cornerback oh they weren't ready for this I've hit so many people with that, even in Master, it's not even funny. So use, play solid, learn the range of your normals, learn the range of your dive kicks, whiff punish with this and this, and then poke, and then boom, you finally got a knockdown, time to guess. Um, another way she can approach is obviously through the air. She's got all different kinds of jump arcs, regular jump, late dive kick like I was talking about earlier early dive kick a lot of the times people can't react to this very quickly and they'll whiff something or they'll get hit in the startup and then you get a full combo so like I said if they're a fireball character react to the fireball by doing this walk up slowly start looking to whiff punish see if they throw out buttons start poking um, and then mix in different jump timings that's a great way to get in with Cammy, and you get in and you maul them. That's how I like to play her. I think this character 
is super good to teach you the fundamentals of Street Fighter. She'll teach you footsies and whiff punishes and pokes and anti-airs. She's not going to get away with just spamming special moves. Um, people like to cry about this character, but usually the person playing the cami understands the way that Street Fighter works. You can't just headbutt, you can't JP spam, you can't just SPD spam. You gotta earn your win. Your damage is low, you gotta win a lot of interactions, but she is so good at what she does. She is so good at playing the fundamentals of the game uh, and the systems of the game that that's how I think this character should be played. That's how I got to master. Um, you know, I know all kinds of people play her differently. Punk also plays a very footsie style, neutral based cami, and then he gets the knockdown and boom, you're guessing. Strike, throw, all that. Um, so that's how I think she should be played. A couple other small things I want to touch on are some counter hit links, uh, punish counter combos, um, and then some burnout stuff. So some important counter hit links that I think you should know. Uh, crouch jab into crouch strong. This is good because it allows you to go into heavy drill instead of light drill. You know, off all two jabs, you only get that, but off this, you get heavy drill. So this is good. If you're challenging with a jab and you know you're going to get a counter hit, just throw that crouch strong out after. And if you see that yellow counter hit pop up on the side of the screen, you got it. Um, stand strong and uh, stand fierce, another good one. So you can go into full charge DP from there. Go into super, whatever. Um, stand strong and crouch strong. Stand strong into low medium kick. Um, crouch heavy punch into heavy punch. That's an important one. This is your main punish counter combo for like simple easy damage. Um, there's others. Like you can do. Yeah, you can do this. I think you can do this normally anyway, actually, this isn't a counter hit. Um, yeah, I would definitely definitely practice this one. You're gonna hit this a lot, because you're gonna hit people with jab, they're gonna be negative, and they're gonna wanna do something, and then boom, you just did 1700 damage, and then you got them knocked down, which is right where you wanna be. Um, and then your other ones, sometimes this is a good one, because this has decent reach. And it's six frame startup, like I was saying earlier. Um, those are most of the ones. I don't think, actually, crouch heavy punch, crouch medium kick is also important because there are times where this will whiff, but medium kick would still reach. So that's important, but it's only counter hit. Um, for punish counter combos, your best meterless punish counter for, di for damage is just gonna be this. Heavy punch, heavy spin knuckle, light kick, medium drill. Um, that's 25-10. And easier is just crouch heavy punch, stand heavy punch drill, which is not much less damage, and arguably better Oki. So maybe you just want to do this, it's a little easier. Um, and then obviously, if you were wanting to cash out all your meter on a punish counter, the easier route would just be to repeat this three times and end that with super um, if you want to be a little more optimal it's a little more difficult you would do this into this same start and then you would drive rush into back heavy kick and then drive rush into knuckle I'll just show you maybe easier So that is a little less meter and more damage. As long as you can get this heavy kick from a drive rush, you can do that combo. So you can do it from a lot of things. You can do it even from, from low forward. Um, so those are your main punish counter combos are just going to be crouch heavy to stand heavy. Um, if you want to do this, you also can. It's a little more damage. Uh, 
Um, let's talk about some burnout stuff. There's some cool stuff you can do in burnout with Cami. So, burnout changes all your frame data. You can make spiral arrows spaced plus, and it's still your turn. If you space this and they're in burnout, plus three. I think you can even get plus four. I know you can. I just saw. I think that's it. Yep, plus four. So, this is going to be... This is 8-frame startup, you're plus 4, this is going to be any jab in the game. Um, so that's important. Your dive kicks become a lot easier to make safe too. You can even hit pretty high up and you're not punishable. So when they're in burnout you get a lot more leniency on that. Um, and then I want to make this public because I see a lot of people struggle with this with Kami. Or actually against Kami. Uh, a lot of people like to, a lot of Kami's do this when you're in burnout. It's not really real. A lot of the times people will panic and super. So if you're the Kami and you're doing this, I'd advise stop after the second jab, see if they're gonna super. Stop, see if they're gonna super. If they don't, keep going. And Kami's drive impact looks so much like spin knuckle that you can kind of just sneak it in there. get a ton of damage um, so I'm gonna show you how to beat that if if a cami's doing that to you there's only one thing you have to do let me put myself in burnout so if a cami's doing this to you obviously you can super super uh, but a safer option between the jab and the stand heavy punch there's a gap and you can punish the spin knuckle so after this first jab you hold back boom you get air reset and then you punish the knuckle like that you just hold back and then boom you get a full punish you can even do super there So I just wanted to make that public. I see a lot of people, a lot of camis thinking that's free, that you can do it forever. You can't. Um, be really careful when you're doing that. Um, for Oki, your Oki with cami is super simple. All you're doing, you're getting the spiral arrow knockdown. Heavy spiral arrow, you dash, boom, that's it. That's it. You have three main options from there. You can, like I was saying earlier, you can meaty, dash, you can grab, or you can shimmy and beat someone's throw. So maybe they're doing wake up throw. Oops. And then you shimmy, boom, full punish. You just walk back. So those are your three main options. If you think they were going to reversal, obviously you would just block and then go into one of your punish counter combos. Um, I think that's most of what I want to cover. I don't really want to put combos in this because I want this to be more of like an understanding of the character, the mentality, the game plan. Um, but just for a few basic combos, you've got three lights and a medium drill. You've got... Stop throwing me. Crouch heavy punch. These are not counter. No punish counter, no counter. These are combos that will always hit. Crouch heavy punch. Crouch medium punch. That's an important one. Um, stand medium punch and a stand light kick. What's wrong with me today? Jeez. Been playing on too many monitors recently. That's 
another important one. Um, you do get throw loops in the corner, I guess I should have mentioned that. So even if they wake up with a button, if you time this right, you'll beat it. They just have to hold up or a reversal. Um, and another interesting thing about this throw loop is you can get a combo that's not normally possible right there. You can do stand medium punch to crouch medium punch. It just has to hit meaty enough, which just means the move just has to hit late enough so that it doesn't have as much time to recover. And then you can do, instead of having to do this, which is 1620, you get to do the one I just showed, which is 2000 damage. Adds up. Um, so can we get you in the corner? She's pretty dangerous, you know. Another thing I like to do personally, I don't see a lot of Kami's do this, is the OD spin knuckle uh, in the corner. People are almost never ready for this. I'll show you something that I hit people with all the time, even at Master. It pulls a lot of weight for me. So let's say you get the knockdown, you do the knuckle, then you take your side back, DI. I've hit so many people with that, it's in crazy. Or if you can kill off the knuckle, you can just do that too. You can just go and go into super. So if you can kill, you can just go off into the knuckle. If you're not going to kill, you just take your side back like this. You do target combo into heavy hooligan and a delayed dive kick. And almost no one's ready for the drive impact after that. So it would look something like this. I just want to show you guys how much damage this does. Like, you can almost win a round off of this sequence. Now technically this wouldn't be possible because I spent more meter than possible, but you could still do something similar to this. So off that one knockdown, you can almost kill someone with all your resources. A lot of people are not ready for that spin knuckle in the corner. Um, if you are going to use it, try to do it as meaty as possible. It's not good just like here while people are already standing up. They're going to grab you when you get this close. You can't just like walk up and do this. You want to do it meaty while someone's waking up. They almost never block. Um, another way I guess you could do this is you could do like a jump in into it. Sometimes people aren't ready for that. Um, yeah, a lot of times people not block this. And then boom, you get whatever. Actually, you're plus seven here. So you get this. I guess you could get this too. <clears throat> but I think I've covered most everything I want to cover. Um, I love talking about the character. I love talking about the game. I do live stream on Twitch if you guys want to come and hang out and talk to me. You guys can help me learn. I can help you learn. And it can just be a fun experience for everybody. Um, I appreciate you guys that stuck through the end of this. And I really hope you guys learned something. I would love some feedback. I'm sure I missed a ton of good info. I just wanted to make a somewhat quick, decent guide that went over the basics of the character. How I think she should be played. Um... And yeah, so I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have a great time, um, and hopefully I'll see you all soon.